say I'm stringing the tobacco. Um, last year we hung the whole entire plant, but it takes a lot, a lot of space. This year we're trying to break the leaves off and then stringing them up to dry rather than what we did last year to see how much more space we can get with them and see if it dries all right. Basically to string them, you know, it's just like stringing up everything else, not a string and feed it through the center vein of each leaf. Um, I've been doing this for about five hours today, so my hands are a little bit tired now, but I usually put 10 or 12 leaves on a string and then we hang them up from the rafters here under the carport. Um, normally what you would do is take a plant and last year we nailed through the section up here and then hung the entire plant like you know, so. Um, you do have to leave a gap between the plants to dry while they're drying. Um, but as you can see, these are really heavy. You've got the whole stalk and everything which ends up as garbage. So we decided rather than do that, we're going to try and do it this way. And as you can see, excuse my messes, we've got tobacco here. We've got tobacco here, crossing the lines, and we'll keep continuing. Um, yes, I'm a midget. I have to get scaffold. Um, this is only about a quarter of the tobacco we've got, uh, so you can see how much space it actually takes to be able to hang and dry. And of course, when you do dry it, hang it, it has to be where it can get air and free air flow through there, but yet stay dry as well. So that is another consideration when you do grow your own tobacco. Um, and as you can see, we've probably got, oh, those are probably eight foot long there. And this one's probably eight or ten foot long up here. Um, and then I've probably got another eight to ten foot line over here ready to go up as soon as I get it strung. Um, small leaves that are too small, like this, we just put in the drying trays just like we do everything else and then turn them every now and then. Um, it generally takes about six to eight weeks of hanging depending on the weather. Um, it does stop curing at about 50 degrees though so that is another thing to keep in mind that you know once it hits 50 degrees or so at night or below it it'll stay green. Um, <laughs> we had that problem last year and we ended up having to move a whole lot of it into the shack so that we could finish drying it but that's just a little update today while I'm playing in the tobacco. Um, have a good one.